Yo boys, what's up? It is Spicy Spider, and yes, you're reading this tutorial right, or the video right, um, I guess I already answered that. Uh, we're doing a tutorial video today, and yes, you are, guys are correct. You guys are reading it right. We are doing a tutorial on the big boy. Now, you guys may remember my old one. If I have a picture of that, I'll slap it up on the screen right now. But, um, the design was really bad for its time. I didn't actually like the design. It was part of my 2021 series, but this is part of the... 2022 and as you can see I've done some major major improvements this build was actually originally built on Java edition so there's some things I wasn't able to implement on here actually I kind of got lucky because I barely used that many Java uh, debugging and world edit on it the only really major thing I did was up here in the front with the uh, plow and all that was really it um, but yeah I really like this build I really love how it looks um, each year I'm gonna up Date uh, my tutorial so I think the last one was 2020 or might have been this year last year um, at like around this time but um, obviously COVID was a thing so yeah um, I did enjoy building this um, it was really fun to do um, I just had to look I had pictures saved of it so I didn't have to go on Java edition and go on the server that I built it on but um, yes so I'm going to try to make sure that this video is not 58 minutes like the last one. I think it was 58 minutes. But if you guys want to see the other one, go ahead and check that out. Um, I have my new train world, as you can see. Um, I'm still extending the tracks out, so be sure to... You'll soon see hundreds and hundreds of tracks. Uh, my next tutorial video to come out will be 3985. I have the design for that, along with 844. Um, so those just haven't been put in here yet, so i got to build those. So I'll build those up to this tutorial today. Um... The major thing that I changed in the build was definitely the tender. Um, you could kind of see some resemblance to the older build, not that much, but the tender, I'm really proud of how I got it to look, to make it as accurate as possible. Um, the uh, rods and all that. But anyways, I want to get started on the build because we don't want to be sitting here listening to me talk. So we're going to get out the blocks that we're going to need. We're going to need black terracotta uh, for the wheels. You're going to need the brick stairs, black concrete. Uh, another brick slab, another brick wall, black stain pane, and dark oak fence. And as you can see, I'm using something different than um, black stone like before. And then get out lightning rod. Um, I was originally going to build this on Java Edition, but I decided not to. So, And I think this train's total length is either 64 or 63 blocks. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting from wherever your first block's going to be, you're going to want to place your black concrete there. Your nether brick stairs here and here. If you are building this on Java Edition, and if you have debug stick, you can make them appear like a corner like this. Just pretend that this is in here. I wish I could do that, but we can't. But oh well. Um, take out your dark oak fence gate. Open it like that. And take out a lightning rod. This is the air hose. Um, they usually hide the coupling back in the plow, so we won't have to worry about putting that in. And take another brick wall. Place that on top. Black stained paint on the side and other side. Um, it's going to go down like that for a little bit, but it will soon fix later on. Then, oh, we're also going to need a uh, wither skeleton school. Sorry about that. That was my phone vibrating. So take another brick stairs and go one, two, three in the back. Wither skeleton school there and there. Then take out your black concrete. You're going to place three back here. Then take out another brick slab. Place one there. And place one there. Your dark oak fence gate. Place one there and open it. Um, this is... I think they're like little handles I saw on there. So I'm just trying to make this as realistic as possible. Then we're going to go back one block away from this stair. Place black terracotta there. And one there. Like that. Take your another brick slab. And place four going back. And take your dark oak fence gate. Place two there. Two behind it. Same on the other side, and open them inside like that, and the ones over here you're going to open up facing that way. That was a cave sound, that is not pleasant, I do not like that. Alright, then what you're going to do, is you're going to get out a, a wither skeleton, or not a wither skeleton school, sorry, you're going to get a dark oak trap door, place one there, place one there, and take nether brick slabs and go one, two, three, take your black concrete, like this, punch a hole there. Take out another brick stairs like that, another brick stair slab there in the middle, and another brick stairs like that, so that's what you should have. Then we're going to take another brick stairs again and place them on the side here. And get out black wool, place it there, 
get out your polished blackstone button, or we'll call it blackstone button, place them there like that. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to get that, that trap door again, specifically the dark oak trap door. You're going to place one there. Then, what we're going to do is I'm going to clear my inventory really quick. Just so I can save space and get out the uh, the, the main uh, the main stairs and slab blocks that I use and the black concrete. Or you can substitute any of these colors with whatever you think looks closely to black. So, but I'll get out hopper and an anvil, trap door, dark oak, not trap door, dark oak fence gate. Place them there. All right then, take your hopper, place it like this. Make sure that it's facing toward the little hook thing there is facing towards the trap door. Place one there. Place your anvil on top. And I think it's, yeah, it's a bla uh, black concrete uh, block there. Then we're going to go on to the um, uh, side pistons. And make sure that you have two upside down stairs above the two, uh, two trap doors there. Then you're going to take another brick stairs facing like that. Bring this out just to help make it easier. Sorry about that. I have controller drift, so it's going to tend to move this certain stick around. Um, like that. As you can see, I'm trying to get as much realism as possible. Then you're going to place two there, two blocks there. And then this is what you should have so far. And get back out that polished blackstone button. Two goes there, two goes there. And what I did on the Java build is I placed a birch button there and a birch button there with debug. So if you want to do that, you can. Or if you just want to have a button there, you can. But I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like it right now. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to make there would be slabs all right here. And one stair facing up like that. Same over here. Then we'll place a slab there for the headlight. We'll do all that stuff later. Um, and then, you want to get out your dark oak trap door, and I want to place it right there. Actually, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that is right. Okay, okay. I thought I was doing that wrong for a second. All right, this is what you should have on the front. This is the front pilot. And lastly, on the front pilot, we're going to need to get out a stone button, place one there and place one there, and one there, one there. All right, I'm going to clear my inventory. Now it's going to start coming up the more fun part. I'll do these fences later on. I want to get uh, the main frame done. So what I'm going to do with this is to save time, I'm only going to show you guys how to build this first set of drivers, and then you can just copy over the next set. But still, we're going to want to get our blocks. So polished blackstone stairs, black concrete, another brick fence, dark fence, another slab. I don't know why I'm calling it another slab. Anvil. Um, I think that's all I use for the main set of drivers. So starting here, you're going to want to place two blocks there. Skip a block, place a fence there, two. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, we went a bit too farther back. This is not a, this is not a four, ten, ten, four, which would be kind of nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if UP actually made that. And then next to these fence gates, or these fence gates, you're going to place two dark fence gates. You're going to open them, and these are the brake shoes. Or sanders, but they're really brake shoes, but you can call them whatever you want. It's, if you're building, it's, your, it's basically your version of it. Then we're going to take black concrete. Bring it all the way across like that. Another brick fence. Then you're going to take your polished blackstone stairs. You're going to do every single wheel like this. If you want to, you can use a full, you can just make it a 2x2 two two using full blocks, but I don't really like to do that. I just like to make it look as realistic as possible. Now, since this is 1.5 to 1 scale, these wheels should be a little, should be at least half a block taller. They should be 2.5 uh, by 2.5, but if I do 2.5 by 2.5, that comes a lot of a lot of weird shapes and it makes it look weirder so I just like to do something simple besides I make these all tutorial friendly as possible that's just what you should have then get out your anvil 
And on the block where the stairs are connected to, you're going to place one on top of each. These are the springs that help keep the locomotive easily balanced. Oh, and also to put another brick slab there and a black concrete there. And then take another slab and place them like this in between each anvil. Oops, wrong thing. And then take your dark oak fence gate place on top of each wheel. This would basically be the main structural support for the spring. If you just look close enough inside of a steam locomotive, you can see that they have the springs there. Same with a truck. Uh, like a truck, not as in like truck wheel base for the trains, but like as like a semi truck or a standard uh, everyday utility truck. I think the spring gets extended out. Nope, it doesn't. It just stops right there. But actually, I think this spring should be extended out all the way. I don't know why I stopped it there. Just extended it all the way. Alright, so switch up to the front part. And so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy everything from this part to this part over. And you're going to want to go back one, two, and you're going to want to start there. So you should have a gap of two blocks. So I'm actually going to go ahead and build this other section. So I'll see you guys as soon as I get that part done. Alright, and I've got the other wheel, so this is what you should do. And make sure that the gap is two blocks from here because we're going to want to start building the second set of cylinders. So you can basically call this thing a four cylinder engine, even though the powerhouse in this thing will probably be more than a 16 cylinder. Like the DDA 30, uh, the DD40s, which basically have a whatever 16 plus 16 is, I think it's 32, they basically have a 32 cylinder engine. Like that, and I notice I have trapdoors down there. Let's go ahead and grab yourself a, your darker trapdoor. Another brick slab. Really, both these sections are joined by a pin, but I don't have to worry about that since we are building this. Um, that's all that's being hidden. Just follow along like so. I don't know why nether slabs don't sound like uh, the, the stairs whenever they are placed. As you can see, guys, I have, there's a lot of stuff that's been going that I've hidden just for minor little details. And get out your polish blackstone button. Also, a new Pierre Marquette 1225 video will be coming out, and along with Nickel Plate Road 765 and Ceno 2716. Um, but I think for Christmas I'll be releasing my Polar Express build instead of um, all those at once. But yep, that's what you should have, right? That's what you should have. Um, and now we're going to build the easier parts. So get out the block that you use for the wheel, and I make the wheel uh, black terracotta because I want it to stand out and it makes it easier for me to build. Let's get all the blocks you're going to need. So you should have black terracotta, hopper, slab, that's nether, uh, black concrete, uh, dark trap door, nether brick slab, and you should get out a fence gate for the axle. And a sign for the air pump that's there, like the air cylinder. So then going back one block from that trap door, not trap door, fence gate, you're going to place your, um, your wheel block like that. And you're going to put hoppers on the front of each of them, like facing this way. Then take your dark trap door, place one there, one there. Your dark oak fence gate right there. And I think I placed another big slab in the middle. Then two nether brick slabs right there. And on this one, you're going to want to bring the nether brick slabs all the way back. Then on top of this trap door, a full black, a block, a black concrete. I don't know what was going through my head when I was saying that. Another brick stairs. A nether slab there. And on that side also. Instead of in here, you're going to want to place dark brick trap door and open it up like that. Place your sign, put it there. And another sign goes right there. And then take your black concrete and bring this out back all the way there. Only at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll stop, guys. Don't worry. And then take a dark oak fence gate and place three in there. And then a, another brick slab there. The fence gate, continue that. On top of that, you're going to want to place black concrete and bring it to just there. And now we have the actual frame. I wouldn't make this a two-part video, but that's going to be too much. I'm going to see how much I can get done of it. And I'll decide whether or not I'm going to... I'm going to be cutting out stuff, so we'll be fine. So, let's go back to the pilot. 
So let's go and get out nether brick fence, dark oak fence, a lever or lever, however you say it. A dark oak fence, snowball, glow item frame. So we're going to make the front. And no, this is not a debug. This is actually Minecraft. Standard vanilla. Just a nice feature they've added. Take two nether brick fences like that. And then your dark oak fence gate, place it there. And then place your lever on top of those nether brick fences. Open them this way, and if those open, close them like that. And then take your dark oak fence here. The reason why I do dark oak fence because it's not going to connect with the nether brick fence. Place your glow item frame there and a snowball like that. So now we have the front pilot completed. Completely. And now let's get a great concrete polished deep slate stairs and the deep slate slab that's polished and I'm using the smoke box is this dark color because this is basically how 4014 looked when it was fresh out of the um, uh, shop whenever they got it completed the smoke box color is a little bit more probably like a uh, I don't know maybe like a cyan terracotta color but I want to go with this because I want to use the new blocks as much as possible all right so then take your uh, boiler color like that and make sure it's Make sure it's in line with this slab and it's a block away, so there's a little gap. Do your polished deep slate like that. And I have a beacon going on, so that's why I have the speed bubble. I wanted the beacon there because this, this is directly on zero, 0, so. That's just what you should have and bring it back out by 5. And then we'll fill in the inside. In case you have like mobs on so bats won't spawn or if you don't want cave sounds. Then take your polished deep slate slab. Like that. Get out another brick slab. With a skeleton skull, a bell. And the block under here is not a barrier. It's a structure void. This will only work if you're using, I don't know if it's the experimental mode. But this, ad, this is just a helpful tool. I originally use a mob school that was skinned as a bell but i'm going to use the bell if you don't have structure void just get a barrier block or if you don't want to use this just replace the bell with a wither skeleton school all right take your dark oak trap to replace it there this is what holds the bell up but we're doing it like that so take your nether brick slab like that and then your wither skeleton schools place them there those are the marker lights this is what you should have Get out a blackstone button, place one there, and place one there. Oh, look at that. World edit. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I can actually do world edit properly in that. Alright, then clear your inventory and get out a lever again and a acacia button. Acacia buttons the, would be the valve to close the whistle. This is the whistle. And we don't need those blocks. Get a black concrete and other brick stairs and bring this all the way back to the end. Bring it back to this to the end of this back set of drivers. And we'll fill all this in. All right, this is what you should have. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break three slabs there and make sure you leave one stair there. Or these are not slabs, these are stairs, sorry. Do that. Then you're gonna go back one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh block, destroy three. And replace those with full blocks. These are the sand domes. Since there are two set of drivers, they're gonna need two sand domes. If they want to be able to get enough sand to the drivers. Let me get out these specific blocks that I'm getting. Take your nether big slab, place one there. Place two there. Make sure that place these slabs, make them curve. Curvy boys. And take your nether big slab, place them there. And then take out daylight sensors or detectors and and then place them and click them so they're blue, so they just match the kind of the color shade. Oops. And take dark oak trapdoor, place them there. 
Now I don't know what this dome is here. This might be a water dome. I don't know what those are. It was just on the build. Okay, I placed polish blocks on button there and I don't button there. Okay, these are the steam safety release valves. When I built this on Java, I had them I had those yellow those buttons there, but I'm not able to do that. So I just put it there. It still works out though. Take a polish blocks and button, just bring them all the way back to here. Alrighty, righty. I'm gonna place buttons like this. Let's row over here, take your dark oak trap doors. Face them like that, open them. Now, I don't know if the current 4014 has these on here. I know they did a lot of modifications to it after they got converted to oil, but it is what it is. And I'll also be showing you guys how to make the coal version of this if you have a Minecraft world that's built for like more of the 40s and 50s or something. And place Dark Oak sign, place one there. Now I don't do handrails up on the top because I want to be able to show as much detail as I can because you know how I am. I like to have as much detail as possible. Alright, so sweet. Should that work done, guys? You don't have to worry about it building it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys know how I am. I always do that. Um, Alright. Take your... Okay, since we have the trapdoor out, let's take the trapdoor. You're going to want to bring it all the way back. Okay, I'm building right all the way back to the front. All right, this is what you should have. And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace each block that's a trapdoor. We're gonna re start replacing trapdoors now with different blocks. So starting on this side, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back four trapdoors down, and on the fifth trapdoor, you're gonna break those two, replace those with upside down nether brick stairs. You're gonna skip two trapdoors, and then place nether brick, or not nether brick. Oh, you're gonna replace it with um, black concrete. This is like a uh, air pump, I think, one of them. And then skipping a block. You're going to go back one, two, three, four. Replace these two with nether brick stairs. And we'll leave those empty because we'll get onto those when we build the side rods. These are the side rods or valve gear, whatever you rail fans out there want to call it. And then on this side, we're going to go back over here. We're going to destroy one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's six blocks back. Nope, it's five blocks back. My bad. And skipping two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skipping one. One, two, three, four. Alright, that's what we should have. And now let's do some underbody detail. So what you're going to do is you're going to get out the blocks that I'm getting out right now. And you're going to need to get out a spruce trap door. Place two of them like that. Just so it shows that the main engine frame is starting to curve a little bit. Just follow along with me. Alrighty. And on top of each anvil or except this one but on top of that anvil you're going to place a full block you're going to go back like this and then replace ones back here like that you can make those full blocks and then on this okay so we're basically on we're basically just going to put on top of each anvil except for the last one because this is when the firebox comes in oh and uh there's two fences there where are they above them? They're right there. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's what we should have right now so far. So we've got some underbody detail. Now, I'm going to get these air pump things done now because I forgot to do this last time. Or well, my last build. Well, I remember them I just at the last minute. But, right. They're basically copied on both sides, so we won't have to worry. So just go like this. Bring that back all the way down. look like this you're gonna go back like three and then you're gonna ex put more in here that same on the other side sorry guys I'm just trying to place blocks down in p illegal places 
So I forgot Minecraft would be like that though. If only they if they changed Minecraft's blocks hitbox, it would be so nice. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build this thing over here. This spot here is actually the entire uh, a reverser mechanism. If you don't know what that is, that's how they control the, the direction of train travel. So, okay, we uh, you won't be able to put the anvil in yet. I just realized that, but you can put in the hopper for now. Actually, we'll put in the anvil, but what we're going to do is I'm going to get out that structure void. And I'm just going to have the anvil sit there for now. You guys, don't worry guys, uh, there's a still a way to get the anvil to stay floating, so. And like that, that should be, yep, that's the entire reverse gear part. Oh, and place a black carpet on top of that, so it just hides it. Oh, dang. Yeah, I can't just clear the inventory, I have to just type in chat to clear it. Alright. Let's get more done on the back. So, let's build the firebox. The firebox will be the same color as the uh, boiler. Usually that's how it is. And destroy these. Let me just squeeze my way in here. All right, and leave one block here so we can fit in. Uh, sorry, so we can fit in the cabin here. Oh, excuse me, got the hiccup. So we can fit in the cab interior. All right, dark oak trap door like that. Skip a block there. Black concrete, bring it back to there. And stack those up twice. Go on to this nether brick stairs and curve it like so. All right. Hope I have enough time left before this video clip ends. I'm gonna have to do this in two parts. All right, take out a wither skeleton skull. Place one there. And place one there. Get out. Polished black stone button. Polished deep slate stairs and a deep slate slab. Place the deep slate, deep slate slab there. And go back three with the um, stairs. This is the actual uh, main oil firebox section. Um, I always put this in on all my builds when I make this the coal burner even. So, I don't know. Something I like to do. It's actually there because it's like the actual firebox. Take another brick uh, fence and bring that all the way up. It would be nice if they came out with another brick fence gates, but I guess they don't because it's not really common for there to be a brick fence gate in Minecraft. Right, open it up with a fence gate right there. Take your uh, polished blackstone button or your blackstone button. Place one there, skip two, place one there. Same on the other side. Alrighty. Then. Let's get work on the cab. I'm kind of rushing through this so I can get it done before. I might have to make the tender its own separate video, so this will be a two-part video, sadly. But that's, that's the only way I can be able to get enough in. So let's get out all the following blocks that I am. I will have to come back for some other ones. All right, so starting here, you're going to want to put... Nether, just uh, don't fill this in, but if you need to, just put the two uh, black concretes there. This is what you're going to want to have. I'm going to bring those back by two. And I actually think this cab design is different than the one I did on the original Big Boy model. The Challenger and 844 ones are going to be easier because they're smaller. This is a big heck of a behemoth, so. Yeah, j just, just follow along, guys, when I'm building the uh, cab. These are not window shades, it's like a little like little crease thing I noticed. It's like a set of trim or something on the top of the cab, but it's not really this big. Then place upside down another stair there. A slab in front of it or behind it. Take out your dark oak trap door. Place it there on that deep slate. Drip slate. And a trap door above it like this. There should be banners there. I forgot to put those in. I'll have to put those in when I make after this tutorial's done. Or I'll have to show you guys how to put those in. Alright, now we're starting to make more of the cab frame. And as you guys can see, 
I have edited the cab frame down a lot, actually. It, this part stuck out an extra block, and that was way too much. Way too much. All right, then take your daylight sensor and bring it all the way to there. And turn those all to the night mode setting. Discord Nightbot! And your dark oak trap doors like that. Okay. Then take a birch sign and place it there. This would be the number where it says 414. I would do a full block, but it's not actually that big. It's a bit smaller, so... And plus, this looks a little bit better. Also, take your nether brick stairs like this. Alright, so there, now we got the actual cab frame in. Alright, uh, take out a polish blackstone button and birch button. The birch button would be... I don't know, it's just a little mark. I think it just says UP right there on that birch button. It's a little bit smaller, but... Yeah. What else, what else, what else? Missing anything? I think we are. Oh, yeah, 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 we are. Let's go to our inventory. Get out the following blocks. Well, skeleton skulls are the dynamo, as you guys know. It's what makes... It's usually the sound that the train makes when it's like the... It's like the sound, sound that it makes, so... It's a generator for the electrics, I think. It's a steam generator. And the but, bl uh, these buttons are actually the... It's like, um, I guess they're like... I don't know what they are. They might be bolts that hold the firebox together. Or they might just be air so the firebox doesn't get too hot and explodes, you know. Okay. So that's what we should have. Locomotive's almost done. I'm going to get the entire locomotive completed. We'll do the cab last. All right, get out your nether brick walls also. And the fence. Take the fences and put them both back here. And a nether brick, or not a nether brick, a uh, dark oak fence like that. Get a slab. And then you're going to want to bring this back. This would be, this is the uh, main connection point. Since this isn't a coal burner, it's not going to have the auger. But this is like the connection point. This is like the other thing. This thing has a lot of stuff in it. Or I guess this could be the coal thingy, but whatever. And let's bring it back another block. Uh, this is actually leaking into the tender, so. So this part here is a fraction of the tender. So this is what you should have. This is the engine so far. Alright, so now let's do the more easy parts, more fun parts. Right, let's move on to the main rods. Oh shit, we have some other things to do on the boiler. We'll do those after the rods. Don't worry, guys. Good thing I remember those. Alright, get out your smooth stone slab and the side stairs that are polished. Dark oak sign, diorite wall, iron trap door, dark oak trap door, birch fence gate. And we're going to put this one on the other side. So, starting here. You're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on this one, you're going to want to place the andesite there, but then you're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, then here, you're going to want to place it like that. Go 1, 2, upside down like that. All right. And then go 1, 2. I see you should have something like this so far. Place your iron trapdoor like that. Diorite wall goes there. Iron trapdoor, place one like that, and I think... No, it's two. Okay, it's two back. I was going to build this on Legacy, but there's no way I would have been able to. This is a lot of things that I wouldn't be... That wouldn't that Minecraft wouldn't allow me to do. Not like illegal. Like, I mean, like, just the build just wouldn't be possible. So this is the first set of rods, and you're basically going to copy the same thing, except you're really only going to copy everything from the top. Goes back three, or goes down three. One. Two. Two dark oak trap doors. And place these diorite walls here so it's easier to place these. Alright, so this is what you should have. Don't forget to place the birch fence there. And then your iron trap doors on top. And then the dark oak sign. One goes there. One goes there. If you guys are wondering what this is, if you notice on the big boy, 
it has on the rods a little chain system. So that's what I tried to make. I couldn't really do it. I wasn't going to use actual chains. But they sometimes have a cover. So that's what that's supposed to be. Something I didn't implement it on before. Oh, shoot. Did not mean to open that. Remember, I used to make uh, the big boy like how I thought it would look in excursion service before I knew it was going to be converted to oil. So, All right. Th okay, this is what we're also going to... Okay. Now that we got the main rods. Well, sorry, that's my dog growling. Will you stop? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy these over. So you're going to put this one here and this one here. So I'm going to do those over. So I'm going to cut all this out so we save space. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. And something I didn't realize at first, I kind of struggled on it. Um, over here, this fence gate... In other words, this fence, I accidentally put it here. It should actually be down a block. Same with the fence gate, so um, so it matches over here. And the anvil fell uh, when I was doing it, so we're just going to fix that. All right, that's what we should have. All right, now let's go back over to the front over here. Get up the following blocks. All right. Another brick fence there. Polish black stone button there, and then a dark oak button right there. That's the number plate. So, or no, not the number plate. The uh, builder's builder's plate, the alco plate. Okay, this is what we should have for the locomotive. Now I'm gonna do a routine maintenance flyby just to see if I'm forgetting anything. Because I always forget to build something in these fit in these tutorials. So is that one freaking build that I just that one freaking block I just forget the place. I think I got everything. I hope I did. All right, I think we should have enough time to do the tender because I don't want to split this into videos because that's extra amount of editing I have to do. But I did cut out a bunch of things, so we should be good. I don't think I've been filming for that long. Okay, let's check just to make sure. It's fine if we forget something. I'll just tell you guys in the comments where to place it oh yeah we did forget something look at that this is just a, this is just the um um the hatch for up there you know what we might as well do the cab interior so go ahead and get out these blocks pause the video if you need to to see what blocks i am getting all right we'll go ahead and place these here Nope, that needs to stay like that. This here is the uh, uh, oil version, so the chain is for the whistle. This is actually supposed to be a lever, but I wasn't able to put a lever there because I'm bedrock edition. They don't that doesn't really work because it's a daylight detector. So just place that there. That still works out. Oh, the chain. This is the whistle. You guys guessed it. That's the whistle. And then take out your black carpet and then just place it there. All right, so that's the cab. Really, the cab has four seats, but it works good, which is two. You got, I guess you could kind of role play. You could pretend to... Oh, well, you can't because of the chain, but... All right, so we're going to build the tender. I'm not going to rush to this tender, but I'm going to do it the right way. Um, so let's... Okay, so let's go ahead and do the tender. The tender looks obnoxiously huge. I have to cut this in two different clips, but they're going to all be merged together. Just that's why I know how long I've been recording. Alrighty, this is just the tender clip. I'm going to put them both in the one video. I just have to do this so it doesn't cut out. So that I'll know how long I've been recording. Alright. You're basically going to get out the, the same blocks that we use for that. Just minus a few. I guess you're basically not getting out the same blocks then, I guess, if you're minusing some of them. Alright. So, with the tender... You're going to do is with the first wheel, you're going to go back from here. You're going to go back one, two, three. And on the fourth block, you're going to place one, have your wheel color there. This is center of tender, so you're going to go. So after you place your two there, you're going to skip one. And you're going to place one there. Skip two, three, four, five. So this is the 14 uh, wheel tender, seven axles. It's amazing how these things make turns. Oops, 
forgot to put some there. Are right, you gonna place the hopper there? Each on the wheels. I don't know why I use hoppers. I noticed that a lot of train builders do this. I guess it's really the only block that still shows the wheel, because otherwise I would use shulker boxes. But that involves lag. And I place two trapdoors there and open them. Sorry about that. I don't know if you can hear my dog growling, but she is. And I might do a face reveal. It depends on what point I hit a certain amount of subscribers. I've really thought about it. I almost did one. I'm going to eventually show you guys who's really behind the mask, or more likely behind the, the TV screen in his basement. So my basement's my parents' basement because I live in their house. Oh, yay, my... Oh, wait, what the heck? Okay, good thing I didn't use that. Okay, get out black concrete. Place it on top of each hopper. I think the, la the last tender was really weird, especially how I did it with the uh, 484 Northern... Because on the FEF or 844, I did the tenant that was the exact same. Nothing was different. Is I made it like a place where I had stairs. I replaced it with slabs. It's because the uh, FEF tender is actually a bit different. It's, I think, a 23-C tender, and this is a 25-C tender. But the tender on 4014 is actually... Well, the okay, whenever they started work on 4014, and just follow along while I'm talking, and they started work on 4014... It was actually replaced, uh, the tender that was on 4014 when they moved it from that museum in California, Rail Giants, it was 4015's tender. Now, I don't know if Union Pacific has successfully converted a 4015's tender since it's 4015's tender on 4014 to oil, so I guess we'll just find out. Maybe for like a 100 year anniversary of the Big Boy, maybe they'll renumber 4014 to 4000, you know. It would be nice if it was a coal burner. I would have really liked that if UP would have kept it original. But coal is hard to use, so. Okay, so take your another brick wall like that. This is just the actual main st structural support, like the hinge point, so where it sits on. And bring this slab here. And bring that back. Same with that. I don't know why I keep using that block. Right? No, no, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, yeah, don't bring this back. Just destroy the walls. And put those there. We'll put wool there eventually. This is what you should have. Alright, then take your nether brick slabs and place one. Oops, each top of the wheels. It would be nice if they could get another big boy back in service. That'd be amazing. But I really want them to get 3985 back. 3985, they just need to get her back in service. But the, ma the maintenance cost, I'm sure eventually they will. Maybe if something happens with, like maybe if there's a faulty thing with the 844, maybe they'll bring 3985 back. But knowing them, if anything happens with the 844, they'll just be like, eh, 3985 is not important. Every Steamy does fan. I'm sure Big Boy eventually, after 30 years of it's running, he'll be retired. And then they'll leave that off to another locomotive. I bring this back. So you're just going to fill this in like this. And go on the back here. Take your another brick stairs like that. Bring those back. And then a dark oak fence gate down there. Make sure that those are opened. Oops, wrong block. Alright. Take out black stained glass pane. This just shows more of the uh, angle. So. Okay, and then take your dark, uh, or not dark oak, sorry, take your um, uh, black concrete, bring it all the way back, 
Same with here. Do not place it on top of those panes. You're gonna want to put a another little stair like this. <laughs> Sorry. And then just fill on top of that all with black concrete. All right, guys. Here we go. All right. When you did stack these up, make sure that this that this is all open right there. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do? So let's go down here where we're gonna place the uh, ladder. We're gonna do it like this. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah, it's like this. Okay. The dark oak trap door bent like there, so they're all connected. Like they look like they're all being connected. You know how I am. I like to get as much details out as possible. That is what you should have. And place another brick wall in there. Dark oak fence gate. Open it like that. I'm unable to get this to be like this with structure void anymore. I don't know why they patched that or why it's fixed. Why it doesn't work. I don't know if they patched that, but it's annoying. But oh well, it is what it is. I can make do with what I got, right? When you don't know how to do something, just do it another way. Okay, don't don't take those words. Never do that, guys, please. That's just like saying if you can't finish the test, don't do it. I'm not a good guy to be getting advice from. All right, you're going to want to place uh, slabs there. Punch a hole there. And then go skip one. Destroy two holes. Like that. That's where all the oil would be. And place your another brick wall there. And daylight sensors like this. Okay, really the tender should have an exact... The tender shouldn't really look like this. It should actually have the same curvature with the um, cab roof, but, you know, who cares? It's Minecraft. Just pretend it does. I mean, besides, it's not like you're going to be able to get every single measurement exactly correct. There really should be a toolbox back here, which would make it like that, but I don't want it to be too tall, so... The tender is already half a block taller. And take dark oak trapdoor like that. And then skip a block and go one, two, three, one, two, three. These are the water hatches. Take another brick wall, place it there. That will be for the back headlight. Okay, so this is what you should have on the tender. Then get out another brick fence. Iron bars, blackstone button, um, dark oak button, a sign, acacia button, or akakia. That's what I like. That's what I used to call it. Um, okay, that's... Oh. Eh, we'll, we'll go back to that stuff in a bit. Alright, take nether brick fence. I think there's supposed to be a button on the top of this. I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, I'm just not going to put it. Oh, okay, why didn't I get that out? Okay, you're going to need a cache fence gate. And then you're going to want to place uh, a fence there, a fence over here, and put... I think that's supposed to be a button, right? Yes. And but Right, then cut these out. And then place wool there. Don't place wool there yet. We'll get to that in a second. And then go over to on this side and on the middle wheel there you're gonna place you're gonna cut out this and place black wool there cut that out and place that black concrete two polished black stone buttons there one there that would say water hose only and this here is a sign I think it was there that said uh, restored by the Union Pacific Steam Program. Okay, then get out your another brick stairs. Place one there. Oh, there's like a little cutout I saw on the side of the engine. Place a button there, one there, sign there. This here, that, that says fire hose only on the big boy. The big boy. Big old boy. Alright, let's clear our inventories. Get out lever, lightning rod, if you're on the new version. Uh, nether brick fence, dark oak fence gate, black carpet, birch button, 
black stone button, spruce wood slab, place it there, get rid of it, you won't need it, um, white concrete, uh, that should be it, alright, place your nether brick fence there, place, alright, let's see, you want to do the lightning rod like how I am doing it. Really, this would also continue up here, but I can't really fit that because it's just unable to be up there because of the detector. But who knows, maybe there'll be a micro update where they'll just make any block placeable on each other. Alright, so this is what you should have, what y'all should have. Then take your dark oak fence gate, bring it all the way up. Also, guys, these Spider-Man movies coming out, and yes, yeah, Spicy Spider, your boy, is going to go see that. Even though I don't care for, even though in most movies I don't care for, I really do care for this one because I really want to know what's going to happen. I may or may not show up in the movie. Yeah, guys, Sony called me like, yo, Spicy Spider, we need you to show up as a cameo. Nah, I'm not going to show up in that movie. Don't get your hopes up. Right, and place your Dark Offense Escape there and a carpet on top. This is like a little step stool I noticed. I think they used to actually be marker lights back in the day. And then take your birch button, bring those down. This is the uh, level for how high the water is. Place a birch, or not birch button. Well, you're going to place a birch button there. That'll be where it says the uh, tender uh, gallons and how much it weighs, I think. Um, and then place your block some buttons there. Punch a hole there. Place white concrete there. And then going over here, starting above here, right there, you're going to want to punch out three. Punch out three. This will this is where it says Union Pacific. Obviously. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's check. Get out. Snowball. Glow item frame. Redstone dust. Standard item frame. Place the standard item frame there. Glow frame there. Redstone dust in there. And I think this is it. I'm going to check before I say that it's completely done because I know, and every time I build these, I always forget one thing and it's annoying because I don't realize it until after I publish the video. Okay, the banners, they're optional. You don't have to do them. But since I mentioned it, I might as well show you guys how to make the banner that I'm talking about. Uh, we'll just do gray banner. Uh, where are the dyes? We're using ink sack. I'm an I, I'm I'm an old Minecraft player. I don't like using black dye. Do not take that in any other way. All right. Yep, that's what you're gonna need at first. And then you're gonna need this. So this is basically the banner. Place one there. And there. This is for the. Uh, so this is why the crew can actually see. All right. There we go. Yeah. So the banner should be. Light gray banner with a black border and black base fest. So. Yepper yeppers. Um, yes, this is the bigger boy. I guess bigger boy because it's different. Uh, what I did change, though, is the gap between the inch and tender is a lot more realistic. Before, before it was a two-block gap, which first off, that seems like a Lionel model from, like, the 50s when they made them with a huge gap. It's like... No, because they have to have enough room to actually, like, you know. Um, I definitely changed how the tender looks. I really am proud of this tender. I did have to take some inspiration from some people I know on Minecraft servers. Um, that's basically how I get better, as I just see what other, how other people build. I don't copy. I just like to see how they build. You know, you always got to somehow, how else you supposed to get good? You got to look at how other people do things. But yes, this is the Union Pacific Big Boy. Uh, 2022 model. T Challenger and 844 will be coming out soon. I don't know if they'll be next. I have an SD40-2 that might come out. I don't know when. But expect to see more. Expect to see more, especially during Christmas break. So, yes. I was going to get this out yesterday, but I was too lazy. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the tutorial of the new big boy. Um, in another video, I'll show you guys how to convert this to a coal burner. So, yeah.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial or video. Bye-bye. Have a great day.